Hello, welcome back, hope you're doing really well. I have a short empties video today. I only finished off six products in May, so yeah, not many products for me to talk about in today's video. Five of them are skincare and one of which is hair care. So I'm gonna do what I usually do. I'll tell you what these products are, what my thoughts are about them, would I repurchase, would I recommend or not? So yeah, let's get going. Let's start off with a hair care product. This is one that I have repurchased in the past. And this is the Way Detox Shampoo in a 300 milliliter bottle. I think I've probably had about three of these, I would say. These I tend to use about once every two weeks, once every three weeks. I don't like to use it too often because it can be stripping on your hair, even though when I've used this more frequently than that, I haven't noticed it's stripping and drying, but I try to kind of limit it to once every two or three weeks anyway. And I tend to use it on the days when I have oiled my hair. I do oil my hair a lot more frequently than once every two or three weeks though, but regardless, I do try and coincide me using this with one of those hair oiling days. So this will be my first shampoo and I will use about a two pound coin <laughs> probably amounts worth of this and i will try and focus it right in the crown and then i'll kind of bring it forward onto i suppose the top of my head and around by the sides but i like to focus it on the crown first to make sure i'm like thoroughly shampooing my hair this smells lovely this smells of like apples it's got a really lovely scent to it and this bottle takes me ages to get through i think i'll probably get through this in like six months I would say so although it's way and although it's fairly pricey I think it's about 24 pounds roughly around that kind of ball mark it's not a product that I'm having to repurchase on a really regular basis it does a really good job of thoroughly cleansing my hair my hair feels really clean afterwards but like I say it doesn't feel stripped of moisture it doesn't feel like really straw like it my hair still feels quite healthy afterwards just a really good shampoo to help remove sort of like excess residue, excess oil. If your hair is like really dirty, really greasy, using a shampoo like this is a good idea. So I do need to buy one of these. I am kind of scouring the internet for somewhere that has a deal on for this at the moment. So really liked this product, would recommend it. And I am going to at some point soon be repurchasing this. And on to skincare, I've got two cleansers. First up is another Clean It Zero Cleansing Balm by Benilla. This is the purifying one. I got these in a set of four and they all did different things. So I think there's a purifying, there's a revitalizing, I think there's a nourishing and the original. To be totally honest with you, I don't see the difference between the different cleansing balms. I feel like they all do the same thing. So I wouldn't repurchase these for its purifying properties because I don't feel like it was particularly purifying it's not like it wasn't but I don't feel like it was at the same time however they are just really good cleansing balms they have the texture of coconut oil and they really melt into your skin super quickly they're they're a pleasure to use they don't feel heavy they don't feel thick they're quite gentle on the eyes as well so I use my ring finger and I I put it all over my eyes to get rid of my eye makeup and I'm able to open my eyes afterwards no irritation and it just does a really thorough job of removing all of my makeup and making my skin prepped for my second cleanser so I do use this of an evening as my first cleanser to remove makeup and to remove SPF so really lovely cleansers I think I have one more left of these I can't remember which one I do have left and I would repurchase these. I do think they are a lovely, lightweight, but really effective cleansing balm. And the little tubs are a really good little size to keep. It's a little screw top and these are gonna be really handy to decant something like Vaseline or I actually need to cut open my sunscreen because I don't have much of this left. And if I wanted to, I could pop the, the contents into a little tub like this. So these are really handy to put in any sort of like leftover product, any excess product that you're trying to use up or for traveling as well. So I will be keeping these, but yeah, I really like this product, would recommend, would repurchase. The next cleanser is one that I have repurchased in the past and I do have an unopened one in my bathroom cabinet. So. 
that's a sign that I really like this product. It is the Kate Somerville Goat Milk Cleanser. I have cut it open and scooped out every last drop. This is a really luxurious cream cleanser. It's very hydrating, very softening, very smoothing. It's a real pleasure to use. It's got a lovely lightweight texture to it, so it doesn't feel like a heavy cream. So although I said it's luxurious, it doesn't feel luxurious in the sense that it's really heavily scented and really heavy on the skin. It's not. It's got a really nice lightweight texture to it, but feels really moisturising at the same time. So once I've washed this off, my face doesn't feel really like tight and like super squeaky clean. It feels nicely, <coughs> excuse me, gently cleansed. So it is a very gentle cleanser. It has a really nice subtle scent. Nothing too overpowering, but if you don't like scent in your skincare, if you have sensitive skin, then this possibly isn't one to use. My skin can be a little bit sensitive and I tolerate this fine, but people who have much more sensitive skin than I do might not get on with this. But if your skin is, say, combination or if it's quite dry, this would be a really lovely cleanser to go for. You don't need much of it, you need like a pea sized amount, that's honestly all you need. I massage it into damp skin and it not so much lathers, you get you get a very, very like light lathering effect going on and then it's really easy to wash off with your hands afterwards or if you want to use a cleansing cloth you can do so as well. And I find this gentle enough to use both morning and as my second cleanse of an evening. Really liked this cleanser, I, I get really good results with this cleanser, I really like how my skin looks afterwards so that's why I've repurchased it in the past and that's why I will continue to repurchase it like I have done and I have another in my bathroom cabinet. Okay let's go to the serum stage, I have one of these mini Beauty of Joseon serums, this one is the calming serum, I got them in a set of four, the other three are up here and I am close to using up another one. So this is the calming one that has green tea and panthenol in it and when I noticed that my skin not so much was red because my skin doesn't really get that red at the moment because I'm on Skin and Me. I feel like Skin and Me has really sort of tackled the redness but once I've sort of cleansed it and noticed that my skin is possibly a little bit pinker than it was before cleansing then I would go in with some of this and that really helped to sort of soothe it and just calm it down and it helped my my complexion sort of even out a little bit so I really enjoyed using this one. I will say though that the dropper isn't great in these mini serums you get about halfway down and the dropper doesn't tend to pick up any so where I'm quite close to using up this one which is the glow serum I don't use the the dropper I just turn it upside down and like pat some out onto my hand. I would repurchase this one, I would get this one in the full size version because I did feel like it, it did do a really good job of calming my skin so I would recommend these, these are like viral on TikTok as well, loads of people love these serums. So yeah I would repurchase and I would recommend them and like with the Clean It Zero cleansing balm, the little pot, I'm keeping this, this actually has some alcohol in it. My alcohol that I use to repress powders, the bottle started leaking and it was horrible, everything stunk of alcohol. So instead I filled up this with alcohol which is so handy because I have my little dropper so I can really control how much alcohol I'm adding to my powders that need repressing so this is coming in handy as well. But yeah, really liked this one as well. I finished up another doser from Skin and Me. This was my fourth month? Yes, my fourth month because there's no clindamycin in it. This was azelaic acid at 14% and niacinamide at 4%. I do have a video up about my three month journey with Skin and Me. I will link that if you've not seen it. But I really like Skin and Me. I'm really enjoying having these doses because you get that real tailored approach to your skincare. So I wanted to control my redness, my red cheeks, and then I had some breakouts as well. So I was initially put on azelaic acid, clindamycin, and niacinamide. And after three months it did a really good job of reducing my redness. In terms of like my spots and my breakouts, pretty kind of like up and down, I felt like it didn't really do much for that. But now that I'm like four months past using it, I feel like my skin is, is looking, looking kind of good. It does have the odd breakout, but overall I think the complexion is looking pretty good. And I am sticking with Skin and Me. I have a new doser. This one contains some tretinoin. So I've got 0.006% tretinoin, 
azelaic acid at 4% and unfortunately when I took my picture to send to them to get my new doser, my new prescription sorted, I did have a couple of breakouts so they put me back on clindamycin at 1% for three months. So each month the tretinoin will start to increase. So I'm starting off at 0 0.006 which is quite low but I will start to increase the tretinoin but I really do like the doses for that tailored approach to your skincare. You can really sort out your own skincare needs. Take the top off and you just twist it and you've got lines along this bit. So this bit starts off like up there and each day when you twist it, it goes down and down and down and you can really keep on track what day you're on. So yeah, would really recommend going on something like this if you have problematic skin or if you have sort of real specific skincare concerns that say over the counter beauty products, skincare products aren't seeming to tackle. And then last product is a moisturiser. I am really enjoying K-Beauty products at the moment. I just think there are so many fantastic K-Beauty, K-Skincare products to choose from that I'm not really that, that bothered about trying, you know, products like L'Oreal or Garnier or, or brands like that in terms of like skincare. I'm really looking at like just K-Beauty skincare items. And this one is from the brand Purito. This is the Deep Sea Pure Water Cream. Again, I've cut open the tube, scraped out all the product. This is essential oil free, 60% deep sea water, 2% niacinamide, hyaluronic acid and panthenol, and deep hydration. This was really hydrating, I agree with that. Really hydrating moisturiser. I use this both morning and evening. It's got a very lightweight fluid texture to it so it's one that you can spend some time really sort of massaging in to your skin and yeah my skin felt really hydrated afterwards I didn't feel like any tightness around here which is where I can sometimes get some tightness so I liked that however there were possibly two or three max instances where I would put my doser on from skin and me put some of this on and it's not so much that I would notice a bit of tingling but I would just notice that I'd put moisturiser on I could I could feel it so it's not like my skin was aggravated or it's not like there was any tingling but I was just aware that I had put something on over the top a little bit weird to explain wasn't a reaction wasn't an allergy or sensitivity or anything it's just I was aware that I had put moisturiser on hope that makes sense so I think based on those honestly literally two or three times of where it happened because of that I don't think I would repurchase this but on all the other occasions by those two or three times it was really really hydrating it was nourishing and I got on with it really well so a little bit of a shame not really sure what happened in those instances but regardless I would still recommend this probably not to people with really sensitive skin but if you're dehydrated or even like normal skin, I would recommend this. But just for me, I wouldn't repurchase it. So those were those six products. So hopefully we're 15 minutes in on my uh, on my camera. This is going to be a short empties video. So if you have tried any of the products that I've spoken about in today's video, please do let me know your thoughts. If you've got any suggestions based on the types of products that I've been using, please do drop me a comment as well. And also do give it a thumbs up if you did like this. I really do like filming my, my empties videos and it's nice as well where I've got the notes on my phone of all the products that I've finished off. I can keep track on how many cleansers I use or how many moisturizers I use in a year. So yeah. I really do enjoy these videos. I think they're probably one of my favourites to film. So hope you liked it as well. Have a lovely rest of your day, whatever it is you're doing. And I'll see you again very, very soon for my project pan video. Bye.